Hi, my name is Trinity. I'm in grade 11 and I'm going to be reading The Day the Crayons Came Home by Drew Daywalt. One day, Duncan and his crayons were happily coloring together when a strange stack of postcards arrived from him in the mail. Dear Duncan, not sure if you remember me. My name is Maroon Crayon. You only colored with me once to draw a scab, but whatever. Anyways, you lost me two years ago in the couch when your dad sat on me and broke me in half. I never would have survived had Paperclip not nursed me back to health. I'm finally better, so come get me, and can Paperclip come too? He's really holding me together. Sincerely, your Maroon Crayon, Maroon Crayon. Dear Duncan, no one likes peas. No one even likes the color pea green. So I'm changing my name and running away to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban, the Magnificent. The crayon formerly known as Pea Green. Hi Duncan, it's me, Neon Red Crayon. Remember that great vacation we had with your family? Remember how we laughed when we drew a picture of your dad's sunburn? Remember dropping me by the hotel pool when you left? Clearly you do not, because I'm still here. How can you miss me anyway? After eight months waiting for you to come get me, I guess I'm walking back. Your left behind friend, Neon Red Crayon. Duncan, it's us, yell and orange. We know we used to argue about, we used to argue over which of us was the color of the sun. But guess what? Neither of us wants to be one color of the sun anymore. Not since we were left outside and the sun melted us together. You know, you know the real color of the sun. Hot. That's what we're sorry for. Arguing you can, you can make green the sun for all we care. Just bring us home. You're not so sunny friends, yellow and orange. Hey Duncan, I'm sure you don't recognize me after the horrors I've been through. I think I was tan crayon or maybe burnt sienna. I don't know. I can't tell anymore. Have you ever been eaten by a dog and puked up on the living room rug? Because I have. I have been eaten by a dog and puked up on the rug. Duncan, it's not pretty. Not pretty at all. I'm more carpet fuzz than crayon now. Can you please bring me back? Your undigestible friend tan or possibly burnt sienna crayon. Dearest Duncan, um, could you please open the front door? I still need to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent. Hey Duncan, remember last Halloween we told your little brother there was a ghost under the basement stairs? Then we drew that scary stuff on the wall? Sure was funny when he ran screaming, right? But it wasn't so funny when you forgot to take me out of the basement. Please come get me. I'm kind of terribly terrified. Your scared friend, glow in a dark crayon. Duncan, greetings from the amazing Amazon rainforest. Making great time, I think. I'm almost home. Neon red crayon. Hello, Duncan. It's me, brown crayon. You know exactly why I ran away, buddy. Everyone thinks I get all the great coloring jobs. Candy bars, puppies, ponies. Lucky me, right? Bet they don't know what else you use me to color, do they? I didn't think so. The rest of that drawing was great, but did it really need that final brown scribble? I'll come back, but please, let's stick to candy bars, okay? Your very embarrassed friend, Brown Crayon.
Duncan was sad to learn of all the crayons he lost, forgotten, broken, or neglected over the years. So he ran around gathering them up. But Duncan's crayons were also damaged and differently shaped than they used to be, that they no longer fit in the crayon box. So Duncan had an idea. He built he built a place where each crayon would always feel at home. There's no dogs down there, are there? Nope, no turkeys either. Oh, you flatter me, but it's not real chocolate. Let's have a party. This one is from my blue period, but it's not really blue, more lilac. I think that door is for us. Make sure it's straight. Ah, uh, there you are. I could use a haircut. Who are you wearing? Oh, I think he goes by Ted. I'm Ted. Looks great, lads. Hope there isn't a metal detector. No, I think everyone is welcome. And then in Cleveland, I got to hike the Great Wall of China. And that's the end of the book.